With the 22nd pick in the 2024 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns should certainly consider drafting one of these two centers. And if you want to hear more about my rationale about the Suns drafting center, check out my previous video about the Suns offseason. Today I'll be talking about Yves Misi and Deron Holmes, two of the best prospects that will be available at the pick who could potentially turn out to be great players in the NBA. Starting off with Yves Misi, who is a 6'11 center with a 7'2 wingspan out of Baylor. He just played his freshman year where he averaged 10.7 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 1.5 blocks per game, and he showed off some amazing athleticism as you see here in these clips. He can really jump out the gym and has a great wingspan for blocking shots and just creating plays on the defensive end. As you can see in this clip, he even has a little bit of the foot speed required to stay in front of guards and create plays there, which is really impressive for a big center like him. And there, going to trap the ball is really important because it shows off some great footwork that could develop into uh, some very nice long-term switchability potential for the Phoenix Suns who could use a nice rim protecting big who can also get out there and switch out on the perimeter uh, when needed, especially against teams like, you know, the Dallas Mavericks who just made the NBA Finals with Luka Doncic who loves hunting mismatches. The Suns currently don't have a center on the roster who can stay on the floor with Luka Doncic on the court because they can't stop Luka. Luka would just abuse them. In the previous few clips, we saw how Eves Misi fights for boards, and then also how he attacks in the short roll, which is really important because the Phoenix Sun stars get doubled all the time, and having a center who can attack in the short roll and make the right pass, or try to go and finish at the bucket, is a really important thing schematically for a team that draws so much attention to its top two stars. He's a big threat to always catch an oop in the pick and roll, and creates a vertical spacing threat on the floor for the Suns, and he finally shows the ability to attack on the ball as well, being able to create his own shot and attack other bigs on the floor, which shows some potential long-term development for Yves Misi, especially if things fall apart with the current Suns regime. It would be amazing to see him turn out to be a super valuable player for the Suns down the line if they take him at 22. The other prospect that the Suns should consider is Deron Holmes, a sharp shooting center out of Dayton who shot 38.6% from three, made one out of his two and a half three-point attempts per game on top of his 20 and a half points, eight and a half rebounds, 2.6 assists, and 2.1 blocks, and 0.9 steals per game that he put up. Some absolutely flashy stats that got him named an All-American. Like Macy, Deron Holmes is also able to attack in the short roll, go into the basket, or looking to make the right pass. Deron Holmes is a much more advanced passer, and I'm curious to see how great of a passer he'll turn out to be in the NBA in the long run, but the passing flashes that he sh showed at Dayton are really impressive as we'll see later. Like Macy, Deron Holmes is also a vertical floor spacer, able to catch oops in transition or out of pick and roll. Maybe not to the extent of an athlete that Macy is uh, vertically uh, or uh, strength wise but in terms of quickness and just being able to get to the right spot at the right time, Deron Holmes is certainly able to do that. While Misi has shown flashes of being able to attack off the dribble, Deron Holmes's off the dribble game is a lot more proven, especially in attacking closeouts. He's got an amazing pump fake which sets up his drives, which he just gets some crazy finishes. He finds some nice finishes in transition using a euro step dunk that showed up a few times in these highlights, and just just being out there looking more like a forward than a center and actually really leads into an interesting debate whether he is a forward or a center considering he's a little bit undersized at 6'10 with a 7'1 wingspan a little bit underweight but he's got that nice driving game which teams are going to look to use in the league. In this last offensive section we could see a little bit more of his passing as he just makes some great reads. Uh, there was a nice late shot clock dime that I like to see out of him and uh, yeah just He's got a lot of experience, he knows how to make the right passes. Duran has also showed an ability as a rim protector, despite playing against a weaker competition. I don't think he's nearly as talented as Misi, but he did average two blocks per game, and he gets up there as a rim protector to swat shots, and he showed off some impressive speed and athleticism as well in one of these last clips, stealing the ball, taking it away, and going full court. He's shown a little bit of foot speed in terms of guarding guards and wings, but 
It's going to be a question of how he can handle himself guarding guards and wings or bigs in the league due to his lack of extreme size or quickness in those areas. But that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed and uh, you want to stick around, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. And that's about it for me. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.